So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which we'll be looking at what JSX expressions are in um, well in React, right? So JSX, just, just like we discussed, allows us to write HTML directly inside JavaScript files, but it's actually much, much more powerful than that. Well, you can evaluate <clears throat> your JavaScript within the HTML which you're rendering parallelly right so you are rendering html and it encounters a javascript piece and it says oh let me just evaluate this first see what happens and i'll just replace this in the um html markup so how do you do that well you write a jsx expression by using a single curly braces opening and closing so once you do that anything inside this particular thing is regarded as javascript right but the thing is you do not have complete flexibility what goes on here so most of the things you would find should be one liner two liner and basically they should return some sort of jsx element itself right now you're gonna see that uh okay i don't know exactly uh, what uh, qualifies as a valid jsx element there should be an exhaustive list but what comes to my mind is numbers starting off with null so if you just write null return null it should it is a valid jsx element numbers is a valid JSX, jsx element html markup strings um arrays as well and uh, yeah i guess that's pretty much it that's pretty much it yep so if you have these many elements being returned from this particular expression then you're good to go right so you're gonna see that you now cannot use expressions like if else inside this because you see these expressions don't really evaluate to anything so what we could do is we can start off with simple ones two plus two well we know two plus two evaluates to four so we're gonna get four right here right and let me just you know just put it right here so that we don't have to scroll it down scroll it left every single time right <clears throat> then you know 2 times 22 you can just perform basic mathematics as well we can have you know null as well just like we said if it evaluates to null it is not shown on the screen so that's that you can have basic string right you can have array as well so if you have like basic string basic basic array something like that it would work as well right so yeah arrays work as well the other thing is that you can pretty much just go ahead and write normal jsx as well wow right so it should just evaluate just fine you can see it just evaluates fine right so the point of this is basically a lot of times you would need some sort of maybe some sort of conditional rendering or something so you're gonna say that if one plus one and you cannot make use of if else because that does not really work but you can make use of ternary operator so i could say that one plus one is greater than five if that is true then i want um let's say well uh this prints right and otherwise if that is not the case i want this to be returned well this prints otherwise otherwise anyway right you see that we get will this print otherwise because one plus five one plus one is in fact not greater than five it is actually less than five so this condition evaluate to false so we skip the true part and we print the false part so this is how in a nutshell how jsx expressions would work just like i said we can have arrays here so i can have you know an array which says one two three four five right and i can just go ahead and use this array right here now you see that it gets printed like this now a lot of times what we're going to be doing is we're going to be modifying this array using the javascript functions which return an array after modifying it so i'm going to just map it and i'm going to say i want the value to be squared right so now instead of one two three four five we get one four nine sixteen and twenty five right and maybe what i want is i want this value to be returned but i also want this to be actually wrapped in a div tag 
right? Now you're gonna see that once I do that, it just considers this value as val star star two as static value. So how do we how do we actually make that this is an expression? Well, we can just nest an expression inside an expression. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enclose this inside another curly braces pair. So once we do that, we're gonna see that we get this thing again, right? So yeah, that's pretty much how you're gonna work with JSX expressions. You're gonna get a hold of this anyway. Don't worry about this any a lot if you don't get it right now. As we proceed through the videos and work with it more and more, you're gonna see how it works eventually. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all for this video. If you liked it, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.